Okay, I just found out yesterday that I'll be driving hang loose. So I got a lot of work I got to do. The guys put together the, the front end. We actually blew the front differential last weekend when Bristol was driving it. So we got that all fixed. Now we got all the corners and toter tires back together. Fill them up with gear oil. Fix the front body mount. And actually the flex plate has to be taken out because the bolts are so wallered out. We're going to have to put a new one on there. So it's going to be a little bit of a busy day, and I'll try to get as much as I can today, but it's going to be pretty hectic because the last month we've been working on this reverb on equalizer, or it was the equalizer, but we got it running yesterday, and Mike Brister will be driving this truck this weekend, and, and uh, gosh, I can't remember, but um, Mike Brister will be driving this truck this weekend, and... Should be a pretty cool piece to see, and hopefully everything works out great. So I have auto. Yeah, last week the front end fell off. This kind of got torn up. Thanks, Brister. <laughs> um, but luckily we got all the pieces for it to, to piece it back together, so it's no big deal. All right, got all the resin and all the pieces on. Let this dry out. Not the best fiberglass here, I'm still learning, but this will do the job. Okay, see that? That is because the bolts holding the center of the flex plate sheared off. That's why you see this. We got the torque converter bolts out earlier. But we got to take this whole tranny out, scoot it forward, I mean, and get this out. Put a new one maybe on. We'll see how the holes look like. We'll just see what everything looks like, really. But might have to put a new flex plate on here if the holes are too wallered out. But that's another project we gotta get done today. So, yep. All right. More jazz hands. Well, <laughs> just as we we're finally ready to leave, we realized the tranny does not work on this thing. Yeah. Look at that. It's been a long night so far. That's all we're going to say about it. Yeah. There's the old tranny. Now, the motor, when it blew up, it locked up and it probably busted the tranny while doing that. Really? So, now it sucks. That <laughs> well, we... that's what Craig Christensen says is that yeah, Craig... it blew some kind of gear in a TH400 that needs Ford. Are you really filming this right now? Yeah. Okay, unless you want to film. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, first, neutral. okay, neutral. Neutral. Perfect. Okay. Third. Okay, so right now we are on display, advertising for the event this weekend. We're going to be on the radio advertising. See what? See how the new show just came up. That's how it is in radio. You intern until they're like, we trust you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> All right, so tell us how long it took you to build this thing. Tell us anything that I wouldn't know about this truck because well, I'm not a mechanic. Well, this truck we refurbished back in July. This took us three weeks to do. It was a, it's a 15 year old truck that we kind of pulled out. You know, wipe the dust off of it, put fresh new parts on it, and we're running it right now. It's an older truck. It's not as updated as the current race trucks, but this thing would do wheelies like no problem. So it's going to be a really fun, entertaining truck for freestyle. So you build them and you drive them? Yes, this is actually my first weekend ever driving. I've crewed for them for almost four years, but this is my first ever time driving. Okay. And so I import it here through the drop box. And it'll show up here in a second. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so tell us how long it took you to build this thing. T tell us anything that I wouldn't know about this truck because well, I'm not a mechanic. Well, this truck we refurbished back in July. This took us three weeks to do. It was a, It's a 15-year-old truck that we kind of pulled out, you know, wiped the dust off.
she does, doesn't she? Hey you guys, Rudy Martin Del Campo. I am here in Vernal, Utah, and today is my first day competing in a monster truck. It's actually intermission right now, but I did the wheelie competition. Truck felt great, got a feel for it. I only hit the race lanes because they were pretty good size, so I just wanted to fill it out before racing happened, and you know. But after my second hit, the seal blew out of tra out of the tranny, so this tranny's toast. So we're going back to the shop tomorrow. We're gonna get swapped out as soon as we can. And there's always next weekend. I don't know what the city is, but it's in Kansas. So we'll be doing a show next weekend. Wasn't the way I wanted to go, but it happens. There's always next week. Thank you guys for the support. Phil posted a picture of me driving for this weekend and the comments I got were pretty cool. So thank you guys, I appreciate it. This is just a start. No our feelings, it happens. And I just had a great time. The team's having a great time, so it's all good. this tire out yet? It's off. Okay. Now I got moved back to ride truck duty. Going to be doing this for pit party, intermission, and after the show. Well, Brister, it wasn't our weekend here. It could have been a lot better, but it could have been worse. So. Yeah, I mean, we got plenty of time to turn it around. We got three days to do it, yeah. but nothing we can't handle, but just not the way we wanted to go. Yeah. We'll get you going for the next one. You as well. Gotta change that locker. Yep. Fix your body.